All right, guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now, this comes from a question on YouTube, and basically the users wanted to know, how do you mix displacement maps? Now, you think this would be pretty easy, but if you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly set this up, and I'll just add in a texture displacement map. Now, with any kind of RGB and you want to mix stuff, we can use things like a mixed texture. And let's just quickly plug these values into the first and second, and we'll take the texture and we'll plug this into the displacement texture. And we'll put the height up, and nothing happens. And you're probably thinking, what the hell am I doing wrong here? So essentially, what we need to do is we need to bake this, because we're technically mixing. So if we add in a baking texture, what we can then do is, we can take the texture from here. Uh, just be careful, there's a kind of value there, so just make sure you're inside of the texture. We'll plug this back into the texture, and there we go. We've essentially mixed the textures, or we're mixing displacement maps. Now it's looking a bit horrible here, but as you can see, if I change the amount, you can see the displacement moving. Now when you're baking, you might want to put the resolution up, uh, so it matches the level of detail. Uh, so we can put level of detail up, and we can always add something like a blur just to kind of make things nice, and then zoom out a little bit. And that is pretty much how you mix displacement maps. Just remember to add in the baking texture. Anyway, guys, you know what to do. Take care.